Hi, my name is Richard Brummel and I'm a director here at Charterhouse Auctioneers in Sherbourne. And I'm here today to talk to you about the fantastic 550 to 600 lots of silver jewellery and watches that we've got coming up for sale on Thursday the 19th of November. And it's a bit of a whistle-stop tour through. I know you like me to talk all day long, but there's so much to see. The first stop, we've got about 180 lots of silver. Now this is a great case of silver, fantastic canteen of silver. Look at all the lovely cutlery, the forks, spoons, ladles, bits and pieces, all in a fitted case. It's all mapping and web. It's all a lovely good gauge of silver, all beautifully hallmarked here. And for a, for a case like that, ideal, just ready in time for your Christmas dinner, is probably worth around about the sort of 1,000, 1,500 pounds. But also silver, we've got silver of all dates and ages here. This is our eldest piece here. This is a piece of silver that was made in Salisbury. It dates to around about 1680 and is a two-handled porringer. Lovely uh, repoussé decoration here. And this is estimated between one and 2,000 pounds. It's a very rare piece of provincial silver. I've probably only seen a handful of pieces of silver made in Salisbury in 30 years of being in the business. A lot of interest in that. So that's 1680. Moving forward to the 20th century, is this sweet little dish here. And what's interesting about this is designed by and made by a chap called Omar Ramsden. Now, normally a little silver dish like this would be worth 50, 60 pounds, but because of the Omar Ramsden Association design here, it's probably 250 to 350 pounds. So showing what's all in the name. But if you like it big, what about this swing handled basket here? Initially uh, designed for use of bread, lovely late 18th century. I love this navette or boat shaped design here. It's not quite oval. And for a lovely swing handle late 18th century, silver hallmarked uh, basket like that, you're probably looking around about five to 800 pounds. So silver still very, very sensibly uh, price one well, is certainly here at Charterhouse when you come to auction. So as I say around about 180 lots of silver. Moving on to the jewellery and the cabinets are absolutely stuffed full of jewellery. We've got mixed lots, we've got single lots, but I'm just going to talk to you briefly again about my favourite little pieces here. Uh, this is a lovely little, lovely little tennis, a diamond tennis uh, bracelet there. That's probably upside down for you but it's lot 365. Um, ideal for the girlfriend, the wife, not both of them though, obviously. And for a diamond tennis bracelet like that, that's probably around about two, two and a half thousand pounds. Brooches, uh, not always desperately commercial at auction, but this is a lovely pink tinge to this uh, brooch here. And it's a, again, it's a design piece here. And this is manufactured by Lalique. And for a lovely little pink tinted uh, brooch here, decorated cicadas, um, probably around about a couple of thousand pounds again. But again, a perennial favourite here is a lovely little pendant, pendant here with a lovely little Georgian oval portrait miniature. I love the blue, the white enamel, the seed pearl decoration here. And for a lovely little brooch pendant like that, you're probably looking probably between sort of 700 pounds and a thousand pounds. But if you like your rocks, we've got plenty of rocks. We've got this wonderful, huge whopper. Um, not the sort of thing you want to wear when you're going to get a, a bag of crisps from the supermarket, but a large, diamond and gold three stone ring there probably around about three to four thousand pounds still on the rocky size again but this one comes with its certificate as well with a gem lab certificate here so you get the the carrot the clarity and the color and for a, a nice little princess cut one there you're probably looking again a couple of thousand pounds but again, still on the large. Should I, should I try putting them all on the one finger now? I wonder if they'll all fit. If you like them big and blingy and nice and colourful. We've got three here. We've got the diamond and sapphire one. Very much the sort of lady die look. That, that'll do sort of five to eight hundred pounds. We've got the jade and diamond. Again, that's a real thumper of a ring. That's in at four to six thousand. And again, the 18 carat yellow gold and amethyst buckle type ring here. That's in at about a thousand pounds. So here in the sort of the 350 lots of jewelry we've got, we've got estimates of between sort of a hundred pounds and about 8,000 pounds. So really is something for everyone here. But finally now, just have a quick little chat about some of the watches we've got coming up. If you like the his and hers, we have gold Rolexes. We obviously have the his and the hers here. His is estimated between sort of six and seven thousand pounds. Hers is a little bit, little bit less expensive. That's between two and four thousand um, pounds. Again, they've both got their boxes and papers and bits and pieces. If you went out to buy a Gents 18 Carat Gold Rolex today, you're looking certainly well in excess of twenty thousand pounds. So very good value for money there. 
And again, we like our we like our watches here at Charterhouse. We've got some more uh, gents, what we call the sports watches. We've got the Rolex here, the Explorer 2, and that's around about three to four thousand pounds. And we've got the giant Omega here, which is probably between sort of seven hundred pounds and a thousand pounds. But we don't just do modern watches. We also we also love our old watches as well. We've got here two George III 18th century pair case pocket watches here. And again, they're estimated, the silver one is between 80 pounds and 100 pounds, and for the gold one between three and 500 pounds. Well, it's a bit of a whistle stop tour through the silver jewelry and watch section. You can actually go online and look at all our lovely lots here on www charterhouse-auction.com um, or you can come along to the sale and come along to our viewing where you can try before you buy. The watches obviously generally they tell the time right twice a day at the moment but they've all come from good homes. I hope you enjoyed the sale. You can also listen in live via www.the-serum.com and uh, happy bidding. Hope you enjoy it. If there's anything you'd like to email us about again we're always taking entries for future auctions so you can always send us an email to info at charterhouse-auction.com. Thanks for watching.